relax, man. Got a, I got a, I think this is an inform, informative video uh, right here for y'all. So, have you ever flunked a drug test and you was like, damn, I really fucked that opportunity up? Well, I have a perfect solution for you for passing every drug test 100% of the time. First and foremost, if you want to pass a drug test, don't do drugs. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about it. Be easy as can be. However, if you do like to dibble and dabble in some recreational activities every once in a while, and you know, a drug test just happens to come up, here's what you do. You're going to need a couple of things. First, you are going to need a hand warmer. All right. This is a small one, but I mean, so far it, it, it's done the job, but you can always go bigger if you want to. But just remember, the bigger things are, the harder things are to hide. You know what I mean? So again, you can see the size of this right here. It's not too big, right? So hand warmer, you need the fake urine. Now this is just the bottle and I'm pretty sure some of you have seen this before, but this is the bottle and it also has the temperature gauge on it because temperature is very important. If you pee and it is below 98, the way that they have it marked in their little cups, it's 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. If you're at 100, whoa, that's too hot. If you are at 96, depending on the person and depending on the kind of day they're having, they might let you slide with it. They might make you piss again. So let's just go right in the middle. Let's keep it 98 because we know that's the safe as it gets. So you will need one of these. You will need a thermal, which it's in the car, so I'm sorry I can't show you, but you need a thermos, right? Because you're going to want to fill that up with damn near boiling hot water. Boiling hot water is at 200 degrees, all right? So you definitely obviously don't want to heat it all the way up to that, right? But you do want to make sure that the water remains hot from the time you leave the apartment or house to the time that you get to your destination, right? Um, so make sure that it's a thermal. I, I have one of those thermals that like stays hot for like 24 hours or something. It was, very, it was like 40 bucks or something. But anyways, it doesn't need to be like that. Um, you'll need a thermal. You'll need one of these. Um, it's like a workout tank top thing. It's skin tight, right? It's skin tight. And you're gonna need this as an undershirt. So you are going to take your, now once you get to the place, don't do this until you get to the location, right? So you're going to take this, you're going to dip it in your thermos until it's past 100, period. Because you might be in there anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Any longer than that, if I was you, once you start hitting around that 10 marker, 10 minute marker, maybe 15 minute marker, but I would, I would say 10, 10 to 12 minutes. Whew. Once you get to that point, if it, you know, if it, it seems like you still got a, a long, you know, a way to head, there's still a couple of people ahead of you. What I would suggest is come up with the reason to uh to go back out to the car just so you can re-dip it in and get it past 100. um that's just my suggestion but you you know you can take you can trust your heat warmer your hand warmer depending on what kind of warm you got mine again it's little so i'd rather be safe than sorry that's just me um so what you'll do is you'll dip it in your in your water while you're in the parking lot so that way you can get it as hot as it possibly can be right before you walk into the door. Then you just take it. Now here's what I do with this when I, when I tuck it, right? I don't put it in my pants. Obviously that's what the shirt is for. I don't put it in my pants because it could fall down my leg. Next thing you know, I got my, my fake pee container that fell on the floor while I'm walking and I'm looking awkward and stupid. So that's, why th that's what this shirt is for. So you get it and you just tuck it, right? Now you can see it sticking out right now that's the higher you tuck it the higher you tuck it the more it's going to stick out obviously right so i drop it down to where my stomach is so then that way i can you know suck in my stomach to stop it from sticking out and of course you put on the biggest shirt that you have over it put on the biggest shirt that you have over it 
and you should be good. It's that simple. With your warmer on, I don't even use a rubber band for the warmer because it's so tight under that it holds it in place. So you'll be good. You won't have to worry about anything. This is my suggestion. If you want to pass a test, you want to make sure that you pass it. You want to guarantee this is what I suggest you do right here. I haven't, I haven't flunked one yet uh, with this method. So you just go in. They'll ask you to empty out your pockets like they do. And uh, the rest is history, man. So this is my way to pass a drug test. 100% guaranteed without using other people's urine because that's sloppy. It's just sloppy. You know, you can put fake pee in this, but the meth is still going to be the same for keeping it hot or warm, I should say. So good luck out there, man. I mean, it's hard out there. And we ain't getting jobs for smoking weed, and that's just stupid. So if you're doing a harder drug, hey, I don't know if this is for you or not. I can only speak on, you know, the recreational use that I that I engage in every now and again, all right? So this is the way that you go and pass the test. You ain't, and there's no way that you can fail this test, all right? So again, 10 minutes or so. Just say you got to make a phone call, step out, dip it in there for a couple of seconds, readjust it, put it back in, go back in, you'll be good to go. Congratulations on your new job.